Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at a slightly controversial subject. Some of my videos are, and that's okay. We're going to be looking at shimming the neck on a guitar, just using the end of a guitar pick. So if that is going to cause you some problems, then maybe check out another video. If it's something you're interested in, let's continue. Let's have a look. Okay, the tools that we'll need for this are a Phillips screwdriver, a guitar pick. My pick of choice was a pick that I borrowed <coughs> from Sam Ash. Um, and what I did, I cut the pick down. Didn't use the whole pick. I'll show you that in a, in a little while. I do realize that this video is controversial. Probably going to get a lot of comments from it. Um, I would say there was a disclaimer that it was something that I decided to do. It's something that worked perfectly for me. Uh, it got the result that I wanted from it. I don't condone doing it this way. There are plenty of shim suppliers out there. Uh, but what I didn't want to do was order a ton of different shims, have the neck off half a dozen times, etc. Um, so I took a risk and this worked perfectly for me. Uh, this guitar has jumbo frets, so the action on the 12th fret was really high. Uh, so I was looking to reduce that action. The result I got was reducing it by a mil uh, to about a mil and a half of the 12th fret. So it worked perfectly for me. So let's get rid of the whammy bar. I'm going to flip the guitar over, use the Phillips screwdriver, and we're going to take that neck plate off. As I say, it's probably going to generate a lot of negative comments, maybe some positive comments. Um, but if you want to do it, go for it. I mean, it's your guitar. If it works for you, fantastic. So here's the part of the pick that I use. Now, I used it at the front of the pocket there. Um, and I'll show you a graphic a little bit later on because I wanted to generate an angle where the headstock was lifted slightly above the body. So this is the before and after. Before obviously the saddles too high, after the saddles were lower, um, because I had to have the saddles really high in order not to get any fret buzz. When I put this uh, pick in, uh, screwed it all back together, then I could put the saddles really low which reduce the action on the 12th fret with no fret buzz. As I say, I was not I was unsure whether to make this video. I wanted to make it because it worked for me. So here's the angle. It's an exaggerated example, obviously, but this was the effect I was going for. That was the result I wanted. Well, thanks for watching the video on how to shim a guitar neck with a guitar pick. I'm sure some of you have got some comments down there, negative and positive. That's okay. As I said in the video, it's something that I wanted to do. Uh, it worked perfectly for me. The guitar now plays perfectly. It reduced the action at the 12th fret as well, and it also increased the playability of the guitar for me. If it's not something you feel happy about doing, that's okay. But as I say, it worked for me. So thanks for watching plenty of other videos to watch just down there. Also subscribe if this is your sort of thing and I'll see you next time.